Ladies and gentlemen, a message from Chief Operating Officer of Caterpillar, immediate past chair of Easter Seal Central Illinois Board of Directors, Joe Creed. Hello everyone, my name is Joe Creed, and I'd like to welcome you to the 33rd annual Easter Seals Central Illinois Tribute Dinner. I'm really disappointed I can't be with you in person tonight, but I know a lot of my friends and Caterpillar teammates are there in full force. And to everyone in attendance, I'm so glad you're here. And I want to extend a huge thank you for choosing to support this great organization and our amazing community. Many of you know that I have a very personal connection to Easter Seals. When our daughter Casey was born with developmental delays, like many other families, we really just didn't know what to do until we contacted Easter Seals. And that's when our amazing journey began. It's hard to believe, but I'm really proud to say we just celebrated Casey's 13th birthday a couple of weeks ago. And she continues to make amazing progress. I'm so proud of her. It's progress that started with the therapy she received at Easter Seals right here in Central Illinois over a decade ago. We often celebrate the impact we have on kids like Casey, and we should. But sometimes, I would say, we often overlook the positive impact we have on the families as well. Not only did Casey start getting much needed therapies at Easter Seals, but we as a family realized we weren't alone. Easter Seals gave us a community, and most importantly, Easter Seals gave us hope. And that's why tonight's theme, Don't Stop Believing, is a perfect representation of what I believe Easter Seals is all about. And speaking of a perfect representation of what we're all about, I can't think of better honorees than Mark and Jody Scott. I've served alongside Mark on our board for a number of years now, and I can tell you personally that no one has more passion for Easter Seals than Mark and Jody. Their dedication to our mission is unmatched. And together with their family, they work tirelessly to ensure every child served by Easter Seals can reach their full potential. I know tonight's all about the kids, and that's what Mark and Jody wanted. But Mark and Jody, I want both of you to know how much I appreciate the two of you. Thank you for letting me be part of tonight's special celebration. And now, without further ado, I'm honored to introduce our most recent tribute honorees and this year's tribute co-chairs two people who I know everyone in the audience knows very well, two people who've given a lifetime of service to this amazing organization, Steve and Mo Thompson. Enjoy the night, everyone. Central Illinois 33rd Tribute Dinner in honor of Mark and Jody Scott. Tonight is a night to celebrate, and celebrate we will. For more than three decades, the Easter Seals Tribute Dinner has honored some of Central Illinois' most notable and accomplished citizens. Their leadership and dedication has made an in, um, a, a large impact on our community. All past tribute honorees are listed in your printed program, and we are honored to have some of them here with us tonight. Would all past tribute honorees please stand as I announce your name, and please hold your applause till the end. John Bierce, Illinois Mutual, 
The Honorable Ray LaHood, WMBD TV, University of Illinois College of Medicine, Peoria, Doug and Vicki Stewart, Sue Yoder Porteller, Doug and Diane Oberhelman, and the Coulter family and PDC. Also in attendance, members of the Berkman family and Shadow family. Thank you all for being here. As Joe mentioned, Steve and I had the distinct privilege of joining this amazing group of people two years ago. That evening will always hold a special place in our hearts. And we are absolutely delighted that Mark and Jody Scott will be joining that esteemed group this evening. We've had the pleasure of knowing Mark and Jody and their family for over 35 years. They have made a lasting impact not only on Easterfield, but also on all of Central Illinois. With their infectious energy and enthusiasm for everything they do, they make great things happen. For this and so much more, Mark and Jody are truly deserving of the recognition they are receiving tonight. Mo and I were thrilled when Easter Seal selected Mark and Jody as this year's tribute honorees, and we readily agreed to serve as co-chairs for this signature recognition event. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a few secrets about tribute tonight. After 30 years, we're starting to dribble them out. You know what I'm saying, a little bit? Now, selecting the honoree is the easy part. Getting the honoree to agree to be the honoree is, is not always so easy, in fact, you may want to chat with a few past honorees here tonight and hear their stories. Well, in February, we set a plan in motion. First, John Michael invited Mark Scott for coffee at the spot. Do you know about the spot? It's a coffee shop, but it's really just a front for one of John Michael's many satellite offices around the country. <laughs> we felt really good about the first step because no one ever in the history of humankind has ever declined an invitation for coffee from John Michael. So, we, so far, so good. Step two, by sheer coincidence, Easter Seal CEO Melissa Riddle, longtime personal friend and past Easter Seal's employee Gretchen Petrakis, and myself all happened to be at the spot for coffee at the same time. <laughs> After our carefully rehearsed, <laughs> oh, imagine seeing you here. Oh, is it a coinky dink to see you here? We then wasted no time in making a compelling and heartfelt pitch. Step three, I had teed up Doug Oberhelman to place a personal call to Mark just at the point at which our pitch was coming in for a landing. This strategically placed call was timed perfectly. And while I could only overhear a part of the conversation, I'm going to tell you right now, it was inspiring. Have any of you gotten a call from Doug Oberhelman? <laughs> or Diane? These calls can be very, very inspiring. <laughs> so, we felt pretty good about our prospects at this point. But sadly, and not totally unexpectedly, we were met with a firm and immediate response from Mark. And if I could do a good Mark impression, I would do it. But you really don't need me to because you know exactly how you would have sounded. No way. Not going to happen. Jody will never go for it. <laughs> Unfazed, John Michael calmly asked Mark to do us a favor and 
just consider it. Gretchen Petraeus asked Mark to talk to Jody and to discuss it together as a family. Melissa Riddle said, Mark, it's for Easter seals. In closing, I asked Mark to pray about it. I always like to throw that in, you know. <laughs> and, and get back, just get back to us after you've, you know, prayed about it. <laughs> Soon after, Mark let us know that he and Jody would humbly accept this honor under one condition. There's always conditions with this guy. <laughs> And this is what he said. As long as the night is all about the kids, all about the staff, and all about Limestone High School, and not about us, we'll do it. So here we are, honoring kids and families served by the extraordinary staff of Easter Seals while celebrating the students and faculty of Limestone Community High School, all against the backdrop of what has become the theme song of the Penguin Project, of Easter Seals, and of the Scott family. Don't stop believing. <laughs> While we fully intend to honor their one condition, if you play Pay close attention tonight. You may come to learn a little bit more about this extraordinary duo, along with their family and how their passion continues to inspire all of us to don't stop believing. Before we move on, Steve and I want to extend our personal thanks and congratulations to our outstanding tribute cabinet. Their tireless leadership has made tonight's tribute dinner a resounding success. Please join us in showing them our appreciation. As always, tonight's celebration would not be possible if not for our generous sponsors, all of whom are listed in your printed program. Their names will appear throughout the evening on the screens. Please give them a well-deserved round of applause. Yes. Now let's take a glimpse into one of the main reasons why Mark and Jody are so passionate about Easter Seals, the extraordinary staff. The word passion speaks for itself. Passion is trying to achieve perfection on what you're trying to do. Persistence. A lot of emotion, a love for what we do. When I think of passion, I guess I think of the children that walk through this door at the center here. Passion's a big word, right? If you don't have passion for what you're doing at all, then maybe you shouldn't be doing it. You have to find something that you have a passion for. That's what keeps you going. Every day had a new challenge and figuring out how we could do something better. And so I was very passionate about that. Well, Easter Seal Central Illinois is what it is because of the staff, because of the passion of our staff. It all works together. You know, it's like a cogs in a wheel. If one doesn't work, the wheel's not gonna turn very well. It's in our DNA. We value children and we believe that each child can reach for and achieve a potential beyond what many people believe they can. I see families who come in and they hope that something is going to happen. And after the first visit, they have confidence that something is going to happen. The love and the passion of the staff and the volunteers and everybody that help them get through that time when they're so scared. They start out with this diagnosis that's completely foreign to them. They have to move forward. They're not really sure in the beginning where they're moving to, but with belief and faith, they find their path forward, and then they find the tools and the people that they need to help them along that road. That's something that I've seen over decades at Easter Seals, people coming 
to Easter Seals with a big dream, but then believing that trusted experts who come alongside them can help them together take those steps that will in fact move them ever closer to that goal. When you walk through the doors of Easter Seals and you see a kid smiling or a kid taking a step, that pa passion just drives you and you want to see it every single day. Say a child's taking their first step or they're riding a bicycle for the first time, those are the special times. Seeing what we all do together tells me that we made an impact. But it's only those who never give up that ultimately reach those goals. And I think that's what believing really means at Easter Seals. Everyone's journey is different. As long as you have belief in your faith, you'll be able to keep moving forward. Believing in a greater purpose that we all can come together and we all can bring hope and in individuals for success. I am a full believer. I have confidence that when they come here, their lives are going to be better. Well, I may be a bit biased, but you won't find a more highly qualified, innovative, compassionate, and professional staff than the team at Easter Seals. And this evening wouldn't be complete without a personal message from someone near and dear to Mark and Jody, someone who has been an integral part of their Easter Seals journey. Mark and Jody, take a listen to a special message from our dear friend and former Chief Development Officer for Easter Seals, Joette Blakesley. Dearest Jody and Mark, your profound devotion to help the kids is an inspiration to all. You are the ultimate team, Easter Seals ambassadors, and servant leaders, dedicating countless hours, always with a beautiful love and joy in your hearts. We are blessed by God's plan that your extraordinary devotion would be dedicated to help the kids. I cannot imagine our Easter Seals world without you. Jody, when I was diagnosed with brain cancer, you were my angel of care. After each chemo treatment, when I was admitted to the hospital for five days, to give my family a much needed respite, you sat by my side in the evenings at the hospital. My oncologist called you my manager. You have a heart of gold. I am forever grateful. Mark, you are my brother from another mother. You will never know how much your support meant to me. When I was stalled on fundraising momentum, I counted on your help to keep the momentum going. Your guidance made all the difference. You are a dear heart. You have my endless gratitude. Jody and Mark, I love supporting your enthusiastic, compassionate servant leadership and your labor of love for the kids. Absolutely one in a million. I cherish our friendship and treasure all the fond and fun memories, especially watching your beautiful and lovely daughters, Jenna and Allie, grow up. They are incredible. With all my love, gratitude, and heartfelt congratulations, I am so proud of you. God bless the Scott family. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand if you're able for our national anthem, performed by members of the Limestone Community High School Choir. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Reverend Joseph Dondonville of Holy Family Catholic Church in Lincoln, Illinois. Good evening, everyone. Again, my name is Father Joe Donovanville. I'm currently um, at Holy Family Church in Lincoln. I see a lot of familiar faces tonight. I was um, at St. Mary's Kickapoo for 12 years, so I'm happy to be back in the area and to see so many familiar faces today. I'm pleased to be here tonight with you to honor Mark and Jody and celebrate this Easter Seals tribute dinner with all of you. I stand here tonight thinking about my mom, Karen, who was so very passionate in her support of Easter Seals um, in the Quad Cities for decades. I, I know somewhere up there she's looking down and smiling at me, uh, grateful that I'm here for them. I mean, I've known Mark and Jody for some time now, and I can tell you that they've become more than friends, they're family to me. Mark called me three and a half months ago, said, I need you on November 1st. For what? Just be here. I said, Mark, it, it is All Saints Day. You know that, right? And his response was something along the lines of, you got three and a half months to figure it out. <laughs> it became clear he wasn't asking. He wanted, needed us, needed me, uh, to, meet, uh, needed me to be here. So I'm grateful um, to be able to be here uh, for both of you. Congratulations to you both for this great honor. I want to take a moment to um, bow our heads in prayer for a moment. I wanted to come up with a scripture verse that to me spoke of the life and the service mission of Mark and Jody, and I think I found one, and I'd like to read it for you, please, if I can, from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And you will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked and you clothed me ill and you cared for me, in prison and you visited me. And then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, Whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. May all of us here tonight continue to strive to be the sheep on the right, that continue to selflessly give of ourselves to the service of those most in need. May God continue to bless those that we serve. And may he bless our fellowship tonight and this food that we receive. In your son's name we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner will be served here shortly. <laughs> 